there's one big lie about losing weight to help with sleep apnea. You see, it's not about losing fat and weight, it's actually about losing a very specific type of fat from your body. And that's why the research has shown that every 10 pounds of weight loss only equals about 10% reduction in sleep apnea severity. That might be great if you have 100 pounds to lose, but for most people, that's not gonna be very helpful. And that's why this new research paper really changes everything. So they have two people here with sleep apnea and they're both the same weight, they're both overweight. This person has an AHI or sleep apnea severity of nearly 60 and this person is around 10. The biggest difference between these two is that this person has about three to four times the amount of tongue fat that is driving their sleep apnea. And tongue fat is a special type known as visceral fat. So the more you can reduce that, the faster you can improve your sleep. So the biggest key in lowering visceral fat isn't just cutting calories, it is looking at your food and reducing the amount of inflammatory foods that you're eating. Now, one of the best ways to improve your breathing at night is with breathing exercises. If you wanna learn how to get a step-by-step -step plan, just go ahead, there should be like a gray box here. You click that or you can go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive.